Hello. Today I'm going to teach you or try to help you to learn to draw better from some things that I have learned from our instruction school. I have just finished all the lessons and I thought I should share my newfound knowledge with the world. So that is what I'm doing. For the first thing that you really need to be able to do when learning to draw is to be able to see what you're drawing. Now, you may say, I can see this, but are you really seeing it with your eyes? And that is what they teach you in this book. To see with your eyes and not with what you think you see. And there will be a method that is very similar to what Egyptians used and I forget who this guy is used that will help you to see with your eyes and draw things more accurately. First, what you're going to need is a piece of paper. I have just cardstock, a ruler, or something straight, like another piece of paper works. A colored pencil or pen, and a normal pencil that you draw with. And a reference photo. You want to pick something that's simple. So I use Finn because whenever you want to train your eyes, you don't want to train your eyes on something too complicated at first. You're going to want to mark the points for each side, top side, that are the farthest out of the picture. So for the top side, the farthest out is this ear. You don't have to make the marks that big, but I'm making them big so you can see them. And for this side, this toe, for this side, the farthest out, is this toe. And for this side, it says this point of his backpack. If you mark the points wrong at first and then you have to redo it, that's totally fine. But then you want to line it up with one side, the point, and draw a line all the way across. So we're going to be making a grid. Do the same for the bottom. Maybe line it up a little better than I just did. A really thick pencil. I just noticed I marked it a little bit too far in. I'm going to go out a little bit, see, right here. I should go here instead. So now he's contained in the perfect size box for him. You see this point and this point? We are going to make. Wait. Let me go farther with this thick of a pencil. In X. You want to get it lined up. Really good. Then the middle point in the X is the perfect center of him. And you're going to line up the ruler right in the middle point and draw a line right through his center. Now this is Finn's exact center. And then right through the middle again. Now, for more complex parts of the picture, you can add an extra box right here where his legs are being all wiggly woggly so we're going to see we're going to see this as one box I want to add it in right here the edge draw an X in it like we did it for the big box here and then 
draw this line. That could have been lined up slightly better. And draw this line. You don't have to use a really bright colored pencil like this, but it helps to see if you're drawing on a picture. So now that we have this big grid and this little mini extra grid, can go over here to replicate that grid. Okay, get your ruler and measure how long this is across. I just used to go like this and I keep my finger on it. I'm just like, okay, it's right here because counting is too hard. And Can you see that at all? No, you can't. Okay, draw this grid for yourself lightly, but I'm going to draw it dark, really dark, so you can see it. But don't, don't draw that dark. So it'll be hard to erase. And then measure how long it is this way. And then you put the grid lines in it, and you make it the same as you did on your reference photo. Okay. So now this grid is the same as this grid, and we are ready to draw thin. If you've ever used a grid before, you probably know how this works. But, you want to look at just this portion. See this triangle of the grid? Whatever triangle you want to start, I'm going to start right here. And you want to look at the, we're going to call thin the positive space, and then I hear the negative space. Okay, right there. I can't even see that. Okay, right there is a negative space, right there is a positive space. So you want to compare those two shapes together to make sure you're getting it right. So nervous for my first draw video, I'm shaking. And I went a bit far, but you can go past your line, your own grid. Doesn't tell you what to do. So see this shape, it's about the same as that shape. And you want to try to get it, since it'll be a little bit more here. You want it to be exactly the same. Because we are pushing towards perfection. This is a straight line all the way down. You can even measure if you want. Like with a stream, put it. I guess and be like, okay, from here at this point to here is his backpack. You can measure from here to here. Okay, that's his backpack. So you're measuring. Now you see that point in your mind. Memorize the point in your mind. And then you draw it. And so if there's like a part that's difficult, you can do that. Go on, backpack. Get there. I'm not sure if you're really supposed to do like one grid at a time, but I hate doing that. It confuses my brain, but you can do one grid at a time. Just stay in the grid and be like, okay, I draw this line. Then I draw that line. And then I go to the next grid and I draw this line. Then I draw that line. You can do that if you're good at that. But I'm not good at that. Now I see that right here. Go down. Goes past. It's like little. Helps you to get it. Basically teaching you how to be a photocopy machine. Which this skill is very useful. 
in the olden days before photocopy machines. Now, sort of mostly is useful for learning things. So they don't really need people to photocopy with their hands that much. He's got a really square butt. See, this is moments like this make you realize how weird everyone looks. Never realized then that your butt was so square. That your butt was so square. Can he? Once, once you finish your fin drawing, you can outline him in some pens, like they have him here, if you would like, which is what I want to do. And then after that, you erase the guidelines that are set here. Which will be a lot easier for you because you drew them lighter, I hope. I'm looking at this right now and you see this right here that comes true right here mine goes right here yeah so I did not do that right I was not paying attention very well I was thinking I need to try really hard that are really good because I'm on video camera and I was so nervous that I messed up so don't do that. Pay attention. And, but it's okay because even if you mess up a little bit, it, you can just do it another time and try again. So I'm going to erase, try to erase my super dark guidelines. Okay, I think I erased these guidelines. About as much as they will go. Yeah. Do not draw really dark outlines. Draw them lightly. So you can erase them afterwards. There. I bet you can do better than me. That's your challenge. Do better than I just did. Really thin fin. Thin fin. Versus the real fin. I'm the thin that, lo thin that lost weight. <laughs> thin, thin. Well, I hope this technique will help you to be able to see and draw better. Doesn't look like it helped me, but it did. I was just really nervous to make this video. So, I'm still pretty nervous. But I think if I keep doing drawing videos I will get less nervous and be able to draw better in the video. It's really hard to draw if you're all shaky and nervous. But despite that I think it still turned out pretty good. And you can always 
try to make it better and cover your mistakes by coloring your picture. Because people don't notice mistakes as much. It was colored. Just made that up. I'm planning on gradually making more drawing videos and having them each get harder, like a class and each lesson is the next level. So this is like the first class and the next video will be the second class. It will be sort of building upon each other. So we have sort of a free art class from YouTube. So annoyed I made thin fin. I almost want to restart and be like, ah, oh, I need to be perfect and redo it and look at that. What have I done? There. Now it's thin. Thin, 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 thin.